Uh, what I would like to see in the next elections is really, f you know, for Parliament to be the centre of politics of governance in Singapore. I think for too long uh, it has been marginalised. You know, so so in response to to Kelvin, why WP has not filed a motion to me is simply because they don't see Parliament as being the place. Right, what will get them the votes, what will get them the attention is during that nine days of campaign, yeah. right, when they can work the ground to a frenzy. Uh, so I hope that certainly, uh, you know, this will be a learning process in which you know we can bring Parliament back to you know to its to its to what is it really intended to be. Um, I think when we look at, let me just look at politicians, parties, and issues. Right, I I. I certainly hope that uh, in terms of issues, there'll be a real engagement of issues. You know that we wouldn't have, um, you know, that we'll focus on what really matters. You know, rather than trying to go into personality, character, uh, assassination. character assassination, or, <laughs> or, or and, and, and similar things. I, I think it's important, um, you know, for for Singaporeans to to see. You know that that politics is an essential part of their lives. Um, you know, never mind if they come into contact with it only once every four years. You know, but it must fulfil a certain purpose um, for them. Um, and I think for parties, you know, I, I hope that they will be responsible uh, in terms of their manifestos and in terms of you know what is realistically possible. Right? I mean, in elections, you know, it, it's it's very it's, it's almost you can almost promise the sky. Uh, and I think that's easy for the opposition in particular. Um, um, but then to say that, look, you know, we don't hold the power, so in the end, you know, we can't we can't do anything, um, in our, in, our, in our, during our, our our time in parliament. And I think you know that would be shortchanging voters. And for the voters, you know, I certainly hope that um, you know th th there will be a focus on, on, you know, the issues that also that matters. Uh, you know, and, and not to get um, sidetracked. Um, my last point is, I, I think, you know, we are on the threshold of what I think will be the watershed uh, general election. Uh, 2011, I don't think was. Uh, why do I say that uh, the next one would be? Well, one is because I think we, we, we might see whether we will have a two-party system uh, being Evolved. put further in, in motion. Uh, if, if you go back to 1997, um, the PAP uh, Clock back two seats from from uh, SDP's uh, four seat win in, in 1991. Um, so you know we will see whether uh, wh whether that that will that will happen. Um, the other thing that I think will be wa watershed is because I I think there's a real possibility that uh, we will see uh, several opposition parties being rendered irrelevant politically mm. if they are not already. Mm. Uh, I think Pongo East, uh, much as you know, Derek uh, tried to explain, you know, the nature of uh, by-elections, but I think he also showed voters are also able to to realize what is at stake, and and that if they want uh, an opposition MP, you know, they will pull their votes behind who they think would be the strongest, who would have the best chance of winning. So I think you know, on, on that score, I think you know, it, it promises to be a watershed election. But I really hope that in the end. Singapore would, and Singaporeans would be the ultimate winners. Right? It's no point having elections in which the country becomes totally divided. You know, particularly when we we would be celebrating or we are celebrating, you know, a, a milestone in in, in, in our history. history. Thanks.